a bronze medal winning Russian gymnast, who was beaten to gold by a Ukrainian rival, is being investigated by the sport's governing body, after he used white injury tape to create a Z letter on his leotard for their podium picture. Ivan Kuliak, 20, will be probed by the International Gymnastics Federation for his shocking behavior in displaying a symbol of support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine during an event. Kuliak finished third in the parallel bars final at the Apparatus World Cup in Doha over the weekend and displayed the letter Z on the front of his outfit as he stood on the podium next to Ukrainian rival Ilya Tovchin, who won the gold. Russian forces have used the letter Z as an identifying symbol on their vehicles in Ukraine following Moscow's invasion of its neighbor. Some supporters of the invasion have also been displaying the symbol. The International Gymnastics Federation confirms that it will ask the Gymnastics Ethics Foundation to open disciplinary proceedings against Kuliak following his shocking behavior at the Apparatus World Cup, the FIG said in a statement. Russia calls its actions in Ukraine a special operation designed not to occupy territory but to destroy its neighbor's military capabilities and capture what it regards as dangerous nationalists. Advertisement Belarus has been a key staging area for Russian forces. The FIG has already cancelled all of its events in Russia and Belarus adding that it would not allocate other events to the two countries until further notice. The FIG adopted further measures against Russia and Belarus on March 4. From March 7, 2022, Russian and Belarusian athletes and officials, including judges, are not allowed to take part in FIG competitions or FIG-sanctioned competitions, it added. Kuliak's pride over the Russian invasion of Ukraine came as three members of the same family were among those killed in the attack by Vladimir Putin's forces on Irving, a town 12 miles from Kyiv. Horrific images captured the terrifying experience of mothers, fathers, grandparents and children running from Russian artillery fire. It came as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's wife has pleaded with international media to tell the terrible truth that Putin's troops are killing children consciously and cynically. Olena Zelenska took to Instagram to say Russians had been killing Ukrainian children since Putin's forces invaded on February 24. She asked NATO to implement a no-fly zone over Ukraine to save our children, because tomorrow it will save yours. She said, the Russian occupiers are killing Ukrainian children, consciously and cynically. On the 11th day of the conflict, men, women and children were needlessly targeted and their neighborhoods reduced to ruins. Across Ukraine, ceasefires brokered by the Red Cross were breached and humanitarian corridors were closed. The UK government said Russia was targeting populated areas to break the resistance of the Ukrainian people. The use of this famous tactic was beyond dispute last night despite Putin's denials and the disinformation emitting from Moscow. 
Ukrainians are dying in towns and cities which, before February 24 when the invasion began, hardly anyone in Britain had heard of.